to think you were broke. I'm afraid I'm going to have to let you go. What's wrong? Michael left me. I paid a man to approach Taylor, sweet talker. You set Taylor up to have an affair. I was undercover in the cartel. Someone tipped them off, so they locked me away. Does your wife know that too, Sibley? I bet she still thinks you were a prisoner of the cartel. Katie's a witness, and the men who killed her father are looking for her. Fiolita? I want to talk to El Jefe. I want to make a deal. I found the little girl he's been looking for. That clown was taking pictures in Katie's room. I kept seeing Ernesto whisper in his ear. Enough! Do I know you? What is that? Looks like blood. Someone tried really hard to clean it up. I hate who I am when I'm with you. I need you. It's over. I know you hate kids. I don't hate kids. I just don't have room for them in my life. This is Dion, our new son. Mr. President, I need you to find a young boy's birth parents. The truth is, he's growing on me. If you want to make Dion a part of the family, I'm willing to give it a try. So, Dion, thank you for coming. I live here. Yes, you do. Liv, you're such a bright young man. All these for me? Yes. Gummy bears, gummy frogs, every gummy in the animal kingdom. We want you to know how much we cherish you. So, how would you feel about living here permanently? Can I eat as many as I want? We should have delayed the candy. Dion, focus. We want to adopt you. What do you think? Carmen, if you don't mind. I want to hear what he says. We'll fill you in. Pablo Residence. I'm sorry, he's busy right now. Who's calling? If you adopt me, are people going to think I'm white? I doubt that very much. Oh, well then, yes, you can adopt me. <laughs> Mr. Powell? Carmen, can't you see we're having a moment? Mr. Powell, you need to come. What's so important? Your private investigator. Mr. Tracy? Well, it wasn't easy, but I managed to track down Dion's birth father. Oh, right. Uh, turns out I no longer need that information. So what should I tell him? Nothing. I don't want anything to do with that man. Well, that's unfortunate, because he's sitting right across from me. And he's eager to meet you. La Virgen de Guadalupe. My abuelita gave me one just like this one when I was your age. Did you have that much too? Sometimes. But she told me La Virgen would watch over me while I slept and keep me safe. And it worked? Oh, La Virgen doesn't mess around. <laughs> Good night, chiquita. Did Katie go to sleep okay? Yes. Thank you. When we were at my mother's, she barely slept a wink. How did everything go here? Miguel had fun at his party? Yes. But there was a little accident on the couch. It looks fine to me. Some cupcakes got mushed in it. I dry cleaned the covers, but um, there was something weird at the bottom of the cushion. He looks like blood. Oh, uh, it's red wine. I spilled some on the couch a couple months ago. Blanca was supposed to clean it up. Well, that explains it. I just didn't want you to think it was me. Mm, I know it wasn't. Thank you so much for being honest. Well, you're always so honest with me. <laughs> El Jefe is getting very impatient, Ernesto. He wants the girl. We have to look for our moment. We can't just run in and grab her. No. When the head of the Gaviota Cartel says he's done, if Rosie finds out what we're up to, then she's... You need to think less about your wife and more about El Jefe. I'm going back to Mexico in a few days. And I'm either bringing a girl with me. Or you are it. You pick. Hi, Zoila. I heard about Genevieve letting you go. How are you? Fine. Any chance you can help me find a new job? Mama's got to work. Uh, well, I have one client looking, but she's kind of the worst. I'll take it. No, you do not want to work for Gail Fleming. She's demanding, rude, nothing like Genevieve. Good. I'm not looking to be friends with my boss this time around. No, then you're in luck. Mm. That's Rosie. I'll set up a meeting. Text you the details. Okay. I have to show you something. What am I looking at here? The stain. Mrs. Taylor said it was red wine, but even Ernesto thinks it looks like blood, and he was a policeman in Mexico. Keep going. I had him take lots of pictures. This is a close-up of your boobs. 
Ernesto Paposo. So you think Taylor's lying about the stain? When I showed it to her, she got all nervous with the buggy eyes. The buggy eyes? Mm -hmm. Like this. Okay. Well, I hate to admit it, but I think you might be onto something. Wait, isn't this where you tell me I'm crazy because she's your friend and she's perfect? I know. I defend Taylor a lot, but Olivia told me the craziest thing. She said she paid some guy to seduce Taylor. So we were right all along? Mrs. Taylor is having an affair? Oh, she was. Maybe it's all connected. There's got to be a way to find out if it's really blood. Hydrogen peroxide. Put it on the stain. If it bubbles, it's blood. And if it is blood, then what? Oh, for Taylor's sake, let's hope it's not. Mrs. Delator, I made lunch. Oh, no, no. I haven't eaten bread since 1992. If you don't eat, you'll waste away. Yes, I will. Why don't fat people understand how simple it is? Now, which gown should I wear to the hospital fundraiser? Well, they're both so beautiful. Oh, I know, but I'm terribly indecisive. I need you to pick. Uh, okay. The mauve one. No, the pink. Uh, shoot. I can't do it. God, I wish Zoila were here. No offense. None taken. I know how close you were, and I'm sorry she had to go. Oh, well, it isn't your fault. You see, dear, Zoila and I had a certain rapport. She always gave me her brutally honest opinion. You want me to be more like her? Exactly. And it's a two-way street. You can tell me my dress is ugly, and I can tell you that I don't like your hairstyle. You don't? Well... It's a little flat. Didn't your mother teach you how to attract a man? Mother was blind. Oh, because of her diabetes. That must be very challenging. Not anymore. She's dead. <laughs> Mars also the nicest things about you. Oh, she said things about you, too. Well, isn't that sweet? Now, Zola. Actually, it's pronounced Zoila. Okay, okay. All of this? No. Chatter should be three syllables or less. Understood. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Which is? You. You're an elephant. How many babies are you having? Just the one. Mm, hope it's not going to interfere with your work. Does day drinking interfere with your work? Salty. I like it. Let me share the living room. Waddle this way. Just outside taking the delivery, guys. You got all new furniture? Yep. Uh, after you pointed out all of those stains, I realized it was time for a clean start. Don't you just love it? <laughs> she replaced all the furniture. Did she give a reason why? Well, she said it was because I pointed out how messed up everything was, so she went to Kivnik's and bought a whole new living room. Why go through all the trouble? What is she covering up? A murder? Rosie, who do you think she murdered? Maybe that tennis pro who got chopped up. That's a lot of blood. Taylor might be hiding an affair, but that doesn't mean she's a murderer. We know she's your friend. One of my best friends. It would be like saying one of you is the killer. No one here is the killer, right? Not me. Or maybe Rosie is always the one you least suspect. I was in the hospital. I have a lullaby. Alibi. And speaking of which, Louis was killed the night of your book party. Where was Taylor? At my book party. Oh my God. What? I went to Taylor's house the next day. Her living room was a mess. I hope you don't mind me stopping by like this. No, of course not. Um, Blanca's just doing some um, deep cleaning for me. At the time, I didn't think anything of it. But now? Poor Blanca. Mrs. Taylor made her clean up all that blood from Louis' murder? Hold on. Whoever killed Louis Becker killed Blanca too, right? Mm -hmm. There's no way Taylor could have done that by herself. Maybe she had help. You said she was having an affair. Very so. You've got to find out who she was sleeping with. You said she's one of your best friends. How would you get it out of one of us? I would take you out, supply you with alcohol until you opened up. You hear that, Rosie? Don't go to a bar with Marisol. You want and well for you. I'm not a killer. <laughs> That's a lot of bourbon. For the amount of trouble I'm in, there's not enough bourbon in the world. Dion's father? Apparently he didn't even know Dion existed. How does that happen? One night stand. Mother never told him she gave up the child, then promptly dropped dead. 
Fortunately, the father doesn't want to take the boy. He and his wife already have children. There was a problem. He wants to meet us all. Make sure Dion's happy. So, have him over. Are you insane? Ellen will be furious when she finds out I'm the one who tracked him down. I hate when my evil schemes bite me in the ass. Mm-hmm. What are you reading? A casting magazine. My music career is in the toilet, so I'm trying to be an actress. It's just annoying. The only rules for Latinas are maids. Not all Latinas are maids. I hate to point this out, but you're a maid. Allegedly. Oh, you think I can pull off nuclear scientist? It's an open audition. You've just given me an inspired solution to my problem. More evil schemes? I never learn, do I? Darling, I just spoke with joy. Did you really drive her to tears? It was just a misunderstanding. But the truth is, I miss Zoila. No, 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 you just think you do. You actually have a form of Stockholm Syndrome, where hostages empathize with their captors. <laughs> Zoila never took me hostage. Well, in a way she did. She was a very negative person. And you, my sweet, are very malleable. Excuse me? I have an idea. Why don't you take Joy to lunch on her day off? And you can begin to forge a new healthy friendship. Well, I definitely owe Joy an apology. But I doubt we'll ever be friends the way I was with Zoila. Thank God for that. Zola, could you make me a gimlet? It's four parts gin to one part... Amazing. The greatest housekeeper that ever lived. Just doing my job. <laughs> that damn dog! Yeah, it's been like that all day. I know, my crazy neighbor keeps it out in the yard barks incessantly. You want me to put a stop to it? Get them to take it inside? How? I'm the greatest housekeeper who ever lived. Hi there. Can I help you? Well, I hate to ask you this, but would it be possible to bring the dog inside? I'm trying to rest before my due date. Oh, I'm so sorry. Look at you and your tiny little miracle. I'm Susie. Did you move into that colonial down the street? No, I just started working for your neighbor, Mrs. Fleming. Oh, you work for Gail? Yep, just started this week. I hate her. And I hope her house burns to the ground. Well, that went south quickly. Gail Fleming is a drunk driving, verbally abusive mess. How can you work for such a horrible person? Uh, we're not friends, it's just a joke. Well, good luck with that. So, are you gonna do anything about the barking? Is it bothering Gail? Yes. Then, no. Uh... Oh. Oh. Wow. That was amazing. Yeah. <sighs> you wanna call your friends and tell them how great I was? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm just checking my messages. Spence isn't calling me back. You just had sex with me, but you're thinking of Spence? No, it's not like that. He's Mrs. Taylor's sponsor. I want to know if she ever said anything about an affair. But didn't you just tell him he needed to back off? Hmm. He could still return my call. It's rude. Look, Rosita, I've been thinking maybe we should move away. What? Why are you saying that? I just think we need a fresh start. But I have a life, and it's here. All those years I was held by the Gaviota Cartel, I dreamed of being free, and now you want to trap us here? I'm sorry, but I'm not going anywhere, except to the shower. By the way, can you take Miguel to his sleepover tomorrow night? I have to babysit Katie. You do? Marisol is taking Mrs. Taylor out. Why don't I come over? After Katie goes to sleep, we can open some wine. Hmm? It's a date. Mm. Hector, it's me. The plan is on. Tomorrow night, we'll take the girl. Adrian, I cannot thank you enough. A surprise trip to Europe is just what we needed. I felt it was important for Dion. You're not a Powell until you've been to Paris. Can't you come with us? I wish I could. I have way too much work to do. But you don't work. I have to work on selling this house. You two have fun. <laughs> Au revoir. Sorry, it took forever to get rid of them. I'll sweat it. Okay, people. The audition is starting. Everyone set off. First up is Malik. My name is Malik. I'm with Prince of Talent, and I'll be reading for the role of Dion. This is 
such a fancy restaurant. Zoila swears by the Cobb salad. We've had many meals here. You really love Zoila, don't you? Never mind all that. You're my friend now, and I need to apologize for upsetting you before. Oh, it's okay. No, it's not. After lunch, I'm treating us to a day at the spa. You don't have to do that. <laughs> yes, I do. And I contacted the Diabetes Foundation and made a donation in honor of your mother. Oh, my God. They planted a tree in her memory. She raised a lovely daughter. No, she didn't. I'm awful. What? I can't accept any of this. The lunch, the spa, the tree. Honey, I can't return the tree. But I don't deserve it. The only reason I'm here with you instead of Zoila is because I lied. I don't understand. I convinced Zoila that Dr. Neff was poor. So you'd think he was after your money. Why would you lie to Zoila? Because Dr. Neff wanted her gone. What'd you do with Stanley? Who's Stanley? My German Shepherd. You complained about the barking, and now he's missing. You kidnap him? Of course not. I have no idea what happened to your dog. I can't believe you are going to be a mother. God have mercy on your baby, Stanley! Oh, my God. Your crazy neighbor thinks I kidnapped her dog. Well, thanks for taking one for the team. Wait, what? Oh, I dragged that smelly mutt to the West Hill shelter. I told him it was a stray. But that's a kill shelter. I know. It's really sad. But isn't the silence sublime? I had to read Katie a million stories, but she finally went to bed. I don't get it. I love going to bed. Oh, don't get too frisky, puppy. I'm still on the job. When are you expecting Mrs. Tupper back? I don't know. In a couple of hours. Then you have time to get a little frisky. Mm -hmm. You take the wine. I'll get the glasses. Mm -hmm. I'll have a cosmopolitan. What about you? Uh, just mineral water for me. Oh, come on. A few cocktails never hurt anybody. <laughs> Tell that to my sponsor. But that was for pills. All right. I guess I'll drink for the both of us. Thank you for inviting me out. We should do this more often. Well, maybe we can. Now that Jesse broke up with me. Oh, no. What happened? I cheated on him. Wow. You cheated on Jesse, the guy with the perfect abs. I know, and I feel like such an awful person. Uh, these things happen. It's OK. Have you ever cheated on Michael? Me? You know, like you said, these things happen. Did Michael say something to you? Well, not just Michael. Olivia, too. Olivia's insane. I know. But she claims she paid a man to seduce you and that you actually went through with it. Oh, my God. Please, Taylor, what is going on? This is why you wanted to hang out? So you could pump me for information? I'm just trying to find out the truth. I can't believe that I fell for this again. Fell for what? For a year, you pretended to be my maid and my friend so that you could snoop around my house and write a bestseller. That is not what happened. Forgive me, Marisol, if I don't want to be the subject of your next book. <laughs> this is fun. Oh, uh, we could make it a little more fun. Uh, I don't want to mess up Mrs. Taylor's new couch. Okay. How about I put some music on? <laughs> oh, not too loud. I need to be able to hear Kate in case she wakes up. Yes, Katie, I almost forgot. You know I would do anything in the world to be with you, right? Of course. I would do anything for you, too. What was that? Well, I didn't hear anything. Thank you. 
Get out of here. And I'm leaving without the girl. She saw you. Get out. I'm, I'm not gonna... Did you see him? Where is he? He got away. Must have gone out through the window. <laughs> it's okay, Katie. You're safe. Ernesto is here to protect us. Hello, Christopher. What are all of these bags doing here? Are we taking a trip? You are. You tricked me into firing Zoila, so you're moving out. I just knew that our relationship could never thrive with Zoila around. I'm sorry. I do not accept your apology. Not just a minute. We love each other. We can work this out. Perhaps with couples therapy. Therapy is for couples who want the relationship to work. I don't want to be with you anymore. I can't believe this. Are you really choosing your maid over me? I'm choosing my friend over you. Goodbye, Christopher. Thank God you and your husband were here. I don't know what I would have done it, Katie. We need to call the police. I told you, we can't. I'll bring her to Michael's hotel room. She'll be safe there. But the police can't... The police can't do anything, Rosie. Not against these people. I don't understand. Remember when I told you about Katie's birth father? Mm-hmm. That was a big part of the story. Last year, I went with Michael down to Mexico. He was working with an international media group. Is that where you met Katie? Her father was a journalist investigating organized crime, and he was going to publish a book about it, but... But he never got the chance. Because he was murdered. Right in front of her. And Katie's mother had died years ago, so... Some of their friends begged us to bring her back to the States. Uh, we were already looking into adoption, so... We smuggled her out. These criminals... Who are they? The Gaviota Drug Cartel. What? Have you ever heard of them? Yes. I have. It must be Wallace. Come in, come in. Thank you. I have to admit, I'm a little nervous about meeting Dion. I think you'll find that he's a happy, well-adjusted little boy. And speak of the devil. Wallace, this is the famous Dion. Long lost father, it's an honor to meet you. It's an honor to meet you. This is my wife. Evelyn Powell, the pleasure is yours. Why are you talking like that? That's what you talk to. Wallace, why don't we head to the study? To some house. If you don't mind me asking, what do you do for a living? I'm a nuclear scientist. Excuse me. Hi, I'm Marisol. Soul. I called ahead. Are you Alan? Yeah. You're the one looking for your old couch, right? Actually, it belonged to my boss, Mrs. Stafford. She thinks her wedding ring might be in between the sofa cushions. Do you still have it? If we still got it, it's over there. Knock yourself out. really into sports when I was a kid. Do you play any? Special skills. Oh, yes. My special skills are tap dancing, karate, and I do a good cock in the accent. Hello, governor. Tip pitch for a shoe shine. Chip, chip, cheerio. Okay, dear. No need to show off. It certainly seems like he's in really good hands. You think I could trouble you for a cup of coffee for the road? Absolutely. Evelyn? Oh, right. That's me. <laughs> Mrs. Powell? You're home. Well, we missed our connection in New York, and John was already homesick. So are you wearing my clothes? Oh, are these your clothes? I must have mixed up the laundry again. <laughs> What's going on? No, 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 don't go in there. Nice to meet you. Oh, dear God. You're back. Just how I like to be welcomed into a room. Who are these people? Hi, I'm Wallace Jones. And I'm Dion. I'm Dion. 
Adrian, why are there so many Dion's? Are you okay, Rosita? You still seem shaking. I wasn't able to sleep last night. I had a hard time too. I couldn't stop thinking about the man who broke in. He was from the Gaviota Cartel, the same one that held you prisoner. You let him in, didn't you? Why would I do that? Because you were never a prisoner of the cartel. Of course I was. Stop lying to me. After everything you put me through, I deserve to know the truth. Maybe you should sit down. How did Dion's father even find us? It was weeks ago. I'm still unsure about the boy. <gasps> I placed a call to a private investigator. I cannot believe you. I made a terrible mistake. You need to make this right. You get on your knees and you beg if you have to, but that man cannot take Dion from us. You're right. I'll fix it. Oh, yes, you will, because if you lose Dion, you lose me. Well, honey, you can sleep in a guest room. Well, think fast, because I have to get my son out of here. Look, I know it seems crazy, but the Powells really do love Dion. Letting him stay here might be the best thing for him. Listen, lady, you have no idea what I'm going through. Actually, I do. I was pregnant once, a long time ago. I couldn't even take care of myself, let alone a kid. So I gave my baby away. I'm sorry. It was the right thing. They were a good family with lots to offer, like the Powells. If you leave Dion here, the Powells will make sure that his life is wonderful. Wallace, I'm willing to make you an offer. A house, yacht, whatever your heart desires. Excuse me. In exchange for Dion, name your price. I might have considered leaving Dion with a good family. But you are not a good family. Wallace, no! My mind is made up. You can expect a call from social services. Oh, Zola, emergency. We're almost out of Chardonnay. Could you please add that to the list for tomorrow shopping? I won't be here tomorrow. I quit. What? You're trying to kill my boss? You're my boss, and we don't have to be friends. But I do have to respect you, and I do not. Wait a minute. What the hell? I rescued your neighbor's dog from the shelter. I also convinced her to adopt a chihuahua. That's Penny. For a tiny dog, she's really loud. No, you didn't. Here. You're gonna need every last drop. So, all those years, you were working for the cartel. They threatened to kill you and Miguel, so I did whatever they wanted, just to keep you safe. But you got out, eventually. I heard you and Miguel were in America, so I took a chance. The Federales raided one of the cartel houses, and I pretended to be a prisoner. What about Katie? The cartel tracked me down. They wanted to pull me back in, so... I proposed the trick. Katie's life... for your own for our lives together. But she's just a little girl. She never hurt anyone. I was not thinking of her. You're a monster. Rosita. I was happy before you came back. I had a beautiful life with Spence and I threw it all away for you. I'm sorry, Rosita. I never thought I'd say this, Ernesto, but I really wish you stayed dead. Dion, my man, it's been a real pleasure. I'm gonna miss you, son. Do I have to go? Yeah, he's your birth father and a uh, nice woman from social services says you belong with him. I want to stay here. Whatever for. Your life is gonna be so much better. Better? Oh, dear, yes. I heard you have a little sister. Someone to play with whenever you want. You see, you're going to a home that is a lot happier than ours. I guess that sounds okay. Yeah. 
I want you to know that we will always hold you dear to our hearts. But you're going to have so much fun, you can forget all about us. I'll never forget you. I wanted you to be the first to know. I've left Christopher. I'm really sorry to hear that. No, you're not. But it's all right. He treated you very poorly. Well, he wasn't the only one. I don't have words to express how sorry I am. Is there any chance you'll come back to work for me? <sighs> jean this isn't about me being your maid. We were friends. For 20 years, I trusted you. And you just dumped me. We're not friends anymore? I don't know. You really hurt me. Damn it. There must be some way we can move past this. Why do you even want me back? The truth is, I can't live without you. Well, it seems you can't live with me either. Let's go to couples therapy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> obviously have issues and I don't want to give up on this relationship do you I am so sorry about Ernesto Spence tried to warn me but I didn't listen have you told Spence he won't return my calls <laughs> anyway what did you want to talk to me about well maybe now's not the best time Please, I need to think about something else. Okay, then. Care to see what's behind door number one? Mrs. Taylor's old sofa. I brought it back from Kivnex. Very sneaky. Now we can test the stain. I already did. You were right. It is blood, and I'm betting it's Louis Becker's. So then we have proof. Mrs. Taylor was involved with Louis' death. And Blancas. I told you. There's no way Taylor's the one who killed them. But she knows who did. Yeah, she does. Now she has to tell me. We're going back in. I don't care if your wife is on to us. You're not listening, Hector. I said it's over. I'm out. You don't have a choice, Ernesto. Unless you want to end up like that pendejo spins. What did you do? I took care of him. That's what I do. I take care of problems. You're going to be a problem, Ernest. Your threats mean nothing to me. I lost my family because of you. You can't hurt me anymore. Are you sure about that? Would I hurt you if I paid your wife? How is it?